llegaste. Hi everybody! Oh. It's Pastor Jay and Cricket and Tempest. And we're here again, and we're going to be doing some Sunday school stuff for you. So we hope that uh, you'll like this. We miss you so much. We were just talking about all of the people that are usually a part of our Sunday school class that we miss. How we miss, uh, who, who do we miss? Emma and Kristen and Miss Sheila. We miss Emma and Kristen and Miss Sheila. And who else do we miss? Desmond. We miss Desmond and Alexa and Wyatt and Eva and Becca and Elena, right? And Ava. And Ava, yeah, absolutely. And so uh, we hope that you'll like this. This is going to be the story of the disciples of Emmaus. Do you know that story? Not yet you don't. Yeah, but that's the story that we're going to be talking about. And that story comes from the end of a book of the Bible that is called Luke. And Luke's book is all about Jesus. And, and I have a Bible verse that has Luke. And I have a friend that's named Luke. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people are named Luke because this guy wrote a great story about what Jesus did. So the story of Emmaus is a story about two people that were taking a walk. And they were taking a long, long walk away from a place called Jerusalem. Just like we're taking a long, long walk through the church building right now. And when we walk, do, you, do we talk sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think these disciples were talking about? They had just seen Jesus die on the cross. And they had heard that he had raised from the tomb. So do you think that they were talking about that? Yeah, they were. But then, you know what happened? No. They met somebody on their walk. It was. It was Jesus. So then it was like there was another person walking with them, but they didn't know who was walking with them. Who's walking with you girls? Whose feet are these? Daddy. Yeah, these are my feet. Now, you recognize my feet and my shoes, right? But they didn't recognize who Jesus was. And so, do you think that you would recognize who Jesus is? Maybe. Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't. So, they invited him to their house so that they could have some food together. Now, do you guys, girls like to eat food together? Yeah? You like eating food? What kind of food do you like to eat? Macaroni and cheese and olives. And what kind of food do you like to eat? Pickles. Pickles. And it, it, do you like to eat bacon? Yeah. Yeah. And do you like to eat Easter egg candy? Yeah. What do you think the people that are watching this like to eat? Do you think they like to eat... Uh, do, you, do you think they like Easter egg candy? Dirt. You think they like dirt? Oh, I don't think they like dirt. Um, uh, well, what do you like to eat? What is it that you like to eat over there? Go ahead and tell whoever is with you. You think they said donuts? Yeah, donuts are pretty good, right? Do you think they said broccoli? You, maybe. Do you think that they said sweet potatoes? Mm, maybe not. Okay. But uh, when we eat together, we, we kind of know what people like to eat, right? Yeah. And when Jesus is eating with these people, suddenly they realize who he is. So, those disciples, why do you think that they didn't recognize that it was Jesus? What had just happened to Jesus? Mm, I don't know. He had just died on a cross. Yeah, realize him because 
they had holes. Well, right, and and they they didn't realize that somebody could come back to life from the dead. But that's what Jesus did, right? Yeah, and that's pretty important news for us because we know that because He died for us that we will rise from the dead too because he forgives us of our sins and he brings us back to life, which is pretty good news, right? Right. So when the disciples realized that it was Jesus, they ran back to Jerusalem to tell all of the disciples. So can you run? Run, run, go run! because they were so excited that they knew that jesus was alive and that's why we're excited during easter because jesus is alive we hope that you're excited too okay girls it's time for us to pray are you ready to pray yeah yeah and hopefully all of our friends on the other side of the camera are ready to pray also they're just right in there. So do you think they're ready to pray? Yeah, I think so. I don't see them. Yeah, I know you can't see them. You just have to believe that they're there. It's kind of like believing in God, that we believe that God sees us and, that, uh, and yet we can't see him with our eyes, just like we believe that our friends are on the other side of the camera over here, but we can't see them quite now. So let's pray and say thank you to Jesus for letting us know that he's there. Oh, and we have a, a bonus prayer. Yay! Hi, Willow. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for raising from the dead. Thank you for letting us know that you rose from the dead. Thank you for letting us know from the dead. And thank you for letting us know you. And thank you for letting us know you. And your love. And your love. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you very much, everybody else on the other side. We'll catch you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. You want to say bye-bye? Bye. Bye, friends. Bye, everybody. Say bye, Willow. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? All right. Bye-bye. Hey, parents. Thanks for being a part of this with us. We really appreciate you basically kind of doing some Sunday school stuff with your kids. Uh, and we're trying to provide you with as many resources as we possibly can think of during this time. Um, and, and we're trying to get you some stuff and, and try to figure out how you can continue to teach your kids about Jesus and about God and about uh, how much he loves them. Um, uh, one of the things that you can do kind of throughout the week is you can tell your kids uh, about how maybe Jesus wasn't real clear to those Emmaus disciples, why they didn't recognize him. And you can do that by uh, getting out one of your, your high school yearbook photos or, or maybe even somebody else's high school yearbook photo. There's this thing going around on social media right now where everybody's sharing their, their senior photos. And so maybe you've already shared yours. Maybe you already know where that photo is. And you can show them that and you can say, hey, is this me? And they'll probably look at that and they'll go, eh, yeah, but kind of different. And maybe that's sort of what happened when the, the Emmaus disciples were looking at Jesus. They saw him, but he didn't look exactly like how they expected him because he had gone from being dead to having his new resurrected body. And that's something that we look forward to as well. The big gospel thing for your kids to remember during the midst of this is that our bodies are going to raise just like Jesus's, and that we get really excited about that, just like those Emmaus disciples did, and that we get so excited that we run around and we tell people about how much God loves us and about how good that news is that we also get to raise from the dead. 
We hope you're having a great week, and like I said, we'll try to get you as many resources as we possibly can, especially in the coming weeks. We're also going to try to get some videos from our regular Sunday school teachers, uh, Miss Emma and Miss Kristen and Miss Sheila, if we can get that get the technology together. So we hope you're having a great day, and uh, kids, if you're watching this, we love you, we miss you, uh, and we can't wait till Sunday school starts back up again, but we want to make sure that it's healthy when we do. So God loves you and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.